What's up guys and thanks for checking out the Booth Talk channel. I'm your host Jeremy and in this video we're going to be going over the basics of how to do probably one of the coolest effects and probably one of the simplest effects that you can do in custom painting and that is doing the water drop effect. Now we're going to use the same hood that we used on the last video doing the weaving line and we're going to do smaller water drops on one side and then we're going to do the bigger ones on this side. We're going to put it all together, show you how to shadow and highlight them and literally you're done. Hang tight, we're going to be right on it. Alright guys, so to do this simple water effect technique, you're only going to need just a couple of things. And that's going to be two different colors. You're going to need a black and a white, or just a darker and a lighter color, contrasting color. And you're going to need water and something to spray with. Now this is something you don't even have to use an actual paint gun with. You can do this with aerosol cans if you have them nearby. The simple effect here is just to create a highlight from one angle and coming from the opposite angle to create the shadow. So you're going to, whatever angle that you put your highlights at, you're going to come across and do your shadows at the same angle from the opposite side. Now the way you spray them is going to be a little bit different. So that's what we're going to walk through on the video and show. And we're going to show just simply a couple different ways to do the water. I use mine out of a spray bottle, but to get those bigger drops like we're wanting, we're just going to pour it on. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to start off here on the right-hand side of the hood. Now, I keep my water in a pressure bottle. You guys can use them in just a regular squirt bottle. It does not matter. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to turn this out so that it's on a just a fine stream. Not a fan, not nothing. That's a little too far out. There we go. And literally, we're just going to give it a couple blasts here on the hood. Simple enough for this guys, that is literally all we're going to do. Now we're going to move to the other side and we're going to dump a lot of water on it, try to get a bunch of bigger drops. Alright guys, so on this side, we're literally just going to dump it on there. We're going to give it a shake and just try to get bigger drops on there. We don't care if it, if it gets all together, we're just wanting bigger bunches. And that that will work like that. So we're going to let that sit. Let it going to be how it's going to be. What's going to collect is going to collect. And then we're going to be left with the bigger drops. All right, guys. So now that we've got the water on here and it's done what we're wanting it to do, we've got the bigger drops and then the smaller on the other side. The main thing to understand is that you do not move the panel. <laughs> Whenever you're painting on this, you're wanting to use an extremely low pressure and you're wanting to dial your fan in from a big fan down to a point. So take, it, take that thing out from a big fan down to a point and you'll be good. Low pressure is your friend. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be coming in from this angle here and, sh and uh, not shadowing, we're going to be giving a highlight across all of them. Now you're wanting to spray directly across the panel itself. You're not wanting to spray down on it. You're going to be spraying with the gun down here blowing straight across on it. You're just to create the highlight so that the water will catch the paint and it'll hold it. So as it dries down, it'll create the effect. Now. For purposes of this video, we are going to highlight a little bit heavier and we are going to shadow a little heavier just so that the effect will show up better on camera. Now again, as you can see as I'm blowing across, you see very little water movement and I'm blowing just, I'm painting literally just above where the water drops are. You're basically parallel to the panel, and I'm just staying straight across it. Again, as I said, for purposes of this video, we are going to highlight it and shadow it a little darker, just to create the effect, so it'll pick up better on video. Now I'll move over to the other ones on the far side. See how I got it right there? I got it a little too heavy. That's what you don't want to do. This is why you want to stay just above it and not actually get down on it. Okay, now that we've got the white done, what we're going to do is we're going to come back and do black. And we're going to go create the shadow coming back from this angle. We created the highlight going this way. We've got to create the shadow coming back the opposite way. Now again, as I said before, purposes of the video, we're going to do it a little heavier. Just create the effect better for the camera. Now 
and it's going to be the same exact thing. You want to spray just straight across with your with your gun at a stream, not at a fan, and you want to spray it just above where the water is. You want to get all the water drops. That way, the water will act as a carrier, and it will catch it. And as it dries down, will create the illusion. It's very important to get all the black and the white be completely opposite, so that it will show the actual effect. Because you want to make it look like the water drop is sitting on the surface when there's really nothing there. So you want to have that natural highlight, that natural shadow that a water drop has. All right, guys, so first things first, let me apologize just real quick. I didn't realize that my microphone went out during the filming of doing the highlights and the shadows there. I'm sorry, I didn't realize, but at the time it was already done. So it is what it is. We're just going to keep on going. Guys, now for this part, what we're going to do is we just need to let the water dry. We need to evaporate out. The biggest thing that we don't want to do is move the panel because we have the, sh the highlights as we want and we've got the shadows as we want. We do not want to disturb it. All we want is just the water just to go ahead and just evaporate down and let it leave the paint as it is. Now, if you've got a, a heater somewhere in your shop, you can turn it on to warm it up and let the water evaporate. That's going to be great. Fans work great as long as they're not pointed here because, again, you don't want to disturb it. I'm not going to bore you you with watching water dry it's just as boring as watching paint dry so we're going to cut out and we'll just be right back whenever this is dried all right guys so it's been about two hours i've had some fans on out here circulating the air everything is dried and it's ready for you to check out look at this now as the water evaporated you can see what i was talking about as to where the paint actually just sits down and goes right where it was now hey i'm not perfect you guys see this right here that's where that water ran off whenever i was doing it was either the shadows or the highlights i don't remember but you can see how it looks completely different there that's what you don't want to do i'm not perfect guys so we've got a little bit smaller drops over here on this side but a lot bigger ones over here this is the effect that you're looking for guys it's very simple to do so guys, thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned anything from it, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It really would help. Guys, I appreciate it. Hit the share button and share it out on social media. Maybe it'll help somebody else. Guys, be well, stay safe. We'll catch you next time.